From trauma to joie de vivre, how is that possible? Welcome to Post Trauma Secrets and Decluttering, where we go behind the scene and reveal how to free yourself. Come and discover the four dimensions of a decluttering journey with your hosts, Valerie Huard and J.M. Tetro. Hey there, ever notice how clutter seems to magically appear in certain area of your home? Oh, absolutely. It's like there's an invisible hand dropping things everywhere. But you know, there's a method to the madness. Right. Physical clutter doesn't just randomly appear. It often shows up because of specific reasons. Let's dive in. First off, our everyday habits play a big role. If we keep putting things off, voila, clutter appears. Oh, how relatable. And what about those things we just can't let go of? You know, like those old toys or clothes that remind us of good time. Ah, oh, the emotional attachment. We hold on to things because of the memories they bring back. They pile up, creating what I call sentimental clutter. And don't even get me started on all these. Oh, Valerie. Just like some of us, diving deep into our passion can create, let's call it, hubby chaos. Speaking of chaos, how organized are you, JM? Hmm, depends on the day. Sometimes I'm Mr. Organized and other times, well, let's just say things get big chaotic. And then there's the ever annoying problem of limited storage. Exactly. When we don't have enough space, or if we're not using our space wisely, things just seem to explode out of nowhere. But, Jam, the biggest clutter creator is stress. When lives get too much, our space often reflect that mess inside our eyes. Oh, so true, Valerie. Stress makes it tough to get keep things tidy. So folks, understanding why clutter happens is the first step in managing it. Together, let's create clearer spaces and clearer minds. Couldn't have said it better myself. You know, Jam, a messy space isn't just about the stuff. It's about what it does to us, inside and out. Oh, absolutely. Let's talk about the mind first. You see this? Trying to find something in all this mess. It's stress central. Clutter can really mess with our ads, making us feel anxious and overwhelmed. And it's not just the anxiety. The constant sight of unfinished tasks can keep our minds racing, making it hard to focus on anything. And that's just the mental toll. What about the physical impact? Oh boy. Look at this minefield. A messy room isn't just eyesore, it's a hazard. Dust can trigger allergy and all this stuff on the floor, a trip waiting to happen. And let's not forget about germs. More clutter means it's harder to clean. Who knows what's growing in some of these piles? Ooh, GM! But you're right, clutter isn't just about what we see. It affects our health, our mind, and our well-being. Totally. And by understanding how clutter impact us, we can find better ways to manage it and create a happier play space. Hey, GM, ever thought about the real price tag on clutter? Oh, you mean beside just the mess? Exactly. Let's break it down. Stress from clutter can actually lead some folks to therapy. And those therapy bills, not exactly pennies. And time. Oh, the time we lose. Just like Valerie here, think about the hours, days, even spent looking for things. That's money lost. And work. Clutter is notorious for killing productivity. Missing that crucial business call because of a messy desk. Ouch. There go potential earnings. And clutter isn't just messy. It's hazardous. Those funny spills and fires aren't so funny when medical bills come in. Oh, and ever bought something you already had? Just because it was lost in the clutter. Guilty. And let's not forget, clutter can even be a party pooper. 
How many times have we avoided hosting just because of messy home? That's missed memory and maybe even missed business opportunities. So what's the damage really? Well, reports suggest that the clutter cost for an average family can be thousands every year, ranging from therapy to lost wages to medical bills. It's not just about the money. It's about the quality of life. Absolutely. Remember, folks, a cluttered space means a cluttered mind. So let's aim for harmony for our pockets and our peace. Here's to decluttering and saving. Cheers. Wow, Jam. We've really been on quite a journey today, haven't we? Absolutely, Valerie. From the chaotic mess to understanding its impact, and finally realizing the true costs clutter brings into our lives. It's been eye-opening. It really has. And the best part, we've shown that understanding the problem is half of the battle. Once you acknowledge the effects of clutter on our mental, emotional, and financial well-being, taking action become a lot easier. So true. And remember, folks, decluttering isn't about achieving perfection. It's about making your space work for you. It's a journey of finding what brings joy and letting go of what doesn't. Absolutely, Jim. Decluttering might feel overwhelming at first, but every little step counts. It piles up, start small, take it one dryer, one corner at a time, and before you know it, you'll have a space that reflects peace and productivity. And hey, if we can tackle our clutter, so can you. Oh, Jim is right. Everyone's. Let's make our living space a source of calm and inspiration rather than stress. Happy, Happy decluttering. decluttering! Thank you so much for taking time to listen to this episode. If you want to help break the trauma stigma, share this episode and give hope to your friends and let them know it is possible to get free from trauma. Valerie and JM want to help you further by offering you Declutter Your Life 101. Be sure to go to dowellht.com forward slash free yourself. That's dowellht.com forward slash free yourself to get your free quick summary and start your decluttering journey. Thanks again for tuning in and be sure to join us next time to discover another secret on post-trauma secrets and decluttering.